normally what would happen is you would literally measure the lengths, get to about this point here, mark a little spot, cut a 45, do the same thing on the other side, the same thing over the top, and you'd pin this all together. And that would be the simplest, the quickest, and the easiest way to do it. And indeed, that would work 99% of the time, but it would work only if this was completely square. And this is totally not square. It's disappearing up here. We need to work out a system where we can put this architrave up in a way where it remains parallel to this edge that gives us clean, crisp, nice mitres at either side. And they can't be 45 by definition because this isn't square. So this is the technique that I'm going to show you. I am going to put this up over the wall. And the only reason I'm doing that is because it really means that I can draw on it. And then... This Now we've got a, a light switch here and the light switch really governs the distance that the architrave can go against the wall. But what I want to do is I want to keep this, this gap between the edge of the architrave and the frame. I want to keep that parallel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line on the inside of the outside like that. And that line there like that. Okay. So if I then mark the inside and the outside, inside and the outside, so here you can clearly see that is the inside of the mitre, that's the outside of the mitre, the inside of the mitre and the outside of the mitre. <coughs> I can't just measure this angle off because I don't trust that to be plumb and I don't trust that to be level. So I've got a little mark there and a little mark there so I know that that's going to go like that. Now by setting this to 45 degrees, all I can guarantee is that blade lines up with that curve. Now under normal circumstances I could put this in here and I could line the two up. But we can't do that, so what I need to do is line up the little mark that I put on the back, bring that to the front, like that. And then I can line this lot up. So that lines up with that section, and that lines up with that section but you can see that there's a gap down the back there. So now it comes to securing them, and I would recommend using these kind of one and a half inch or 40 millimeter power pins, minuscule heads on them, but that's what I'm gonna fix mine with. If I put this scrap of architrave up here, it'll give you an indication of where the nail has to go, and the nail really would idealistically wanna go in there, into the thick part of that, but it's gonna miss this wood. So realistically, I'm probably gonna be putting the nail, I would say, actually in this kind of section about here. see as I put this square up here I've got this touching at the bottom here and I can actually fit the pencil pretty much in there 
and I can't down there because the frame is leaning over that way. And if I do the same thing on the other side, okay, so I'm using this as a reference right into the corner there and we've got, well, I've got a pencil that's actually fitting in there and it goes all the way up till that point there. So the whole frame is a parallelogram that's leaning over like that. So that's how I've managed to resolve this problem and get these clean looking 45s on either side with a door frame that's completely leaning over to one side. Hope you found this useful. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching.